With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Question is, a particle of mass m strikes elastically on a wall with velocity v at an angle of 60 degree from the wall. Then magnitude of change in momentum of ball along the wall is. So here suppose this is the wall. Now here a ball let's say comes and this ball let's say elastically hits this wall. Elastically means here the velocity with which it approaches the wall with same velocity it bounces back. So here we can say that the angle 60 degree is given with the wall. So we can say here this velocity suppose is V as this angle will also be 60 degree. Hence the change in momentum here can be written as final momentum minus we can say here as initial momentum that is M into Vf minus we can say here as M into Vi vector. So we can say here initial velocity was V final velocity will also be V since the collision is elastic. So M comes out common hence this is Vf vector minus this is our Vi vector. Now here we can say final velocity vector if we say here this angle here will be our 30 degree. So this angle will also be 30 degree hence we can say here this angle will also be our 30 degree since corresponding angles as this component is V cos 30 and this component will be our V sin of 30. So here we can say final velocity vector is given as let's say our minus V cos 30 I cap and minus V sin 30 of we can say here as J cap in the similar manner initial velocity here can be said as this as 30. So this is V cos 30 I cap and this here is our V sin 30 J cap as initial velocity vector here is minus let's say this is plus V cos 30 we can say here I cap and minus V sin 30 we can say here J cap. So Vf vector minus Vi vector here comes as M into we have here minus of 2V into cos 30 I cap since J cap component becomes let's say difference as 0. So this is minus 2MV cos 30 here is root 3 by 2 into I cap. So this comes here as minus root 3 MV I cap. Now the question is asking magnitude of change of momentum of wall along the wall. This momentum change here is along I cap direction that is along perpendicular to the wall. Hence we can say here change in momentum along the wall that is along y axis is 0. Hence we can say option number 1 that is 0 is the correct answer. So 0 is our answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.